And the reason that I returned to the United States and began working there eight years ago was because I'd been away for at least 15 years. And when I returned, I realized that because America changes so quickly that uh, I was unfamiliar with the place on the surface, but fundamentally it was my home, so I was very familiar. So there was this sort of dual sensation of being very familiar with it and very unfamiliar at the same time. So that was very interesting for me. And I was finishing my project in the former Soviet Union and I, and I, and I thought that the United States was now the sole superpower and going into the uh, next century and next millennium there was the idea that it was going to be the great American century, specifically by the Republican Party who won the election with George Bush. So at that time it was the first the first set of pictures that I made was on the inaugura the first inauguration of George W. Bush in Washington. And then from there I went on to photograph um, all of the things that followed uh, from 9-11 to going to war in Iraq and Afghanistan and uh, and all of the disasters that went over an eight-year period of time and, and brought us to now. Um, and I feel it's incredibly important right now to be there because the country, not only because of the the new president, Barack Obama, who is very interesting and could lead the country in an in a interesting direction, but the country is really falling apart uh, in many, many respects, economically, um, socially, uh, it's, it's at, at a point, I think, where it's in a very critical state, and even Obama himself, I'm not so sure if he's going to be able to pull it out of the tailspin that it's in. So it's, a, it's an incredibly important time to be photographing there right now. And, um, but a very difficult time to photograph because there's not a lot of funding to do it, far, far more, less and less funding to, to get out there and see these things. So it really, you have to have a, a big personal drive and personal investment to get in there and, and do it. But when you go out, you, you, you can see how serious the situation is and how severe the, the economic crisis is. And I don't think that that's being seen in either the American or the European press or being shown by the American government is how serious the problem is in the United States right now. Good enough?